a lot of celebs from the world of entertainment are releasing their autobiographies. So we've asked our good friend Stephen Boylan from Eason's to join us and help us sift through the new releases and get some great reads for all of you out there. Great to have you on the show again. Thanks very much. And uh, we have a lot of home uh, talent this week as well, and uh, a few uh, internationals there as well. Yeah, really good mix of strong entertainment biographies this year, some homegrown and some from further yeah. afield. Yeah. Magella O'Donnell, of course, who has been, I suppose, very prolific since her cancer diagnosis yes. and very open as well. And she went on the Late Late Show and shaved her head. And since then, I suppose, really, my goodness, she's, she's had an awful lot. She's helped an awful lot of people. She really has. And that's where the book starts. And the first chapter is basically looking at the Late Late Show appearance last year. I think initially she was aiming to raise uh, 50,000 euro yeah. for cancer research. And I think she ended up doing more than 10 times that. So it's wow. been a huge success. And the book, does it go on from the Late Late Show interview or does it go back when she was younger or anything like that or is, is it just her journey from the late late show till now there's a bit of time hopping and um, it starts with the late late and then it goes back to her early life and kind of follows her through her career up to her marriage with daniel and then further on uh, yeah. through the cancer diagnosis and her treatment yeah. she's very open in it actually we, mm -hmm. the today show we managed to have a chat with her and, and she didn't hold back i'm not ashamed of having depression i'm not ashamed of that my marriage broke down you know with there was two of us in that relationship you know it wasn't my fault purely and it wasn't his fault purely so I never feel that you know you know there's something I don't want to talk. It's, it's not it's it's stuff that everybody is dealing with it's you know be different if it was something very personal to me but I mean it is very personal to me don't get me wrong but it's stuff that lots of people go through divorce depression cancer so I think it's good to share and when you have a voice I think you almost have a duty um, to speak out because probably lots of people would but maybe people wouldn't listen but when I have a voice if you like or, or I can get onto a TV show and talk about depression or charities or whatever I, I should I should do that it's me giving back something yeah, well I, said. Yeah, I, I think it's her, it's her, is it her honesty that makes this book? Yeah, she's very decent think, and she's very, And I think she has that very strong relationship with people. I mean, we had an event with her last week and there's a huge amount of engagement and people really relate to her very, very strongly. And it is a story that people can relate to now, yeah. Because, yeah. Maura, when you, when you have somebody like me uh, coming out, right, saying, yeah, I had depression, the marriage broke yeah. down, Th this is normal life, this happens, yeah. this happens yeah. to people. Yeah. And there she is and she, and she gives it. It's her warmth, though, as well, in the yeah. way she has, she said, her, her relationship, yeah. that she doesn't hold back, but she's also got a, a natural warmth about her. She's, yeah. she's a a really nice woman you know mm. she really is and people really appreciate the honesty as well yeah. i think they really so that's like that's a great read anyway yeah, yeah so. absolutely yeah. Yeah. another really nice person and yeah. a really honest person shane filing from westlife yeah a really kind of diff uh, interesting look at a kind of a, a boy banders life if you like obviously shane very well known as one of the members of westlife for a number of years went solo there a couple of years ago and um, but obviously he's been in the headlines recently and um, had a lot of financial difficulties and went and ba went bankrupt yeah, in 2012. Property, mm. yeah, so this is this is an incredibly candid very honest and moving book um, about kind of his career with westlife and then his family life and then the issues that he's had recently so um, a really strong read from him we also caught up with shane and he actually dedicated his book to his wife jillian i do dedicate it to her because she is she's she's like you know the most important person like me obviously my kids as well and she's um she just kept me focused she kept me positive when things were not positive at all in our life you know even i was telling we were talking about it yesterday and i, I actually didn't say it in the book but when i told her how like kind of sat down with her one night and kind of said how bad it was that you know, literally, we, we were, had no m money, or we were running out of money, or whatever, and we could actually lose this house. You know, her reaction was, "We live in a cardboard box if we have to." That was her answer, like you know, literally just like that. Um, so I was kind of like, "Wow," you know what I mean? Like, what a what a what a thing to say to somebody when they're that low. Um, and I went, "You know what? We can. We can live in a cardboard box. Whatever, whatever it takes." What unaffected by celebrity, yeah. it has yeah. to be said. It really is. And it's amazing, the, the, the pages and the chapters where he's talking about this, you can feel the sense of panic coming on as he realises that he's put all this money into yeah. it and nothing is kind of coming out of it. Um, so a really, really engaging read and kind of brilliantly and done. Even, yeah. even from the public side of it, okay, you see Shane File, you see Westlife, they sold some like 40 million albums. And, you know, there was a show to go along with all this as well. Yeah. And all of a sudden, hang on, this has all been taken away from me. And then to go public with it, yeah. it must have been really tough. I'd, I'd say the pressure he was under was just enormous, yeah. you know. and kind of being very conscious and it's the quote on the back of the book is that moment when he realized that he had gone bankrupt and his mind moved to the kids that were upstairs and thinking that everything that he built up had vanished beneath yeah. him so i mean it's a very tough story but uh, brilliantly done yeah. mm -hmm. who do we have next is it uh, lena Le yeah yeah actually of course lena dunham she is the girl who wrote girls, girls. yeah 
a young girl, and this is her book. You'd think, God, very young to be writing an autobiography, I suppose, but she's achieved so much in a few short years. Yeah, this is not a kind of a straightforward autobiography. It's kind of, as you can see on the title there, it's um, a young woman tells you what she's learned. So she's sort of passing her wisdom that she's learned in the last few years, um, looking about kind of about love and sex and body image and career and all that sort of stuff. So um, a really interesting read, very, very funny. But um, she's a bit of a role model, I think, for, for young women nowadays, that she doesn't play the game of, you know, the, having to be sticked in and all that sort of stuff. She's well, I suppose that the, the show was like that, and it inspired an awful lot of people that it kind of was the new sex in the city, but yeah. without the drama uh -huh. and without the, the frills yeah. and without the, the all the beauty and all the heels. Pat and Fitz all really liked it. He, 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 he reviewed yeah. it for our show he reviewed last he really for us. He loved it. Yeah. It's something that I haven't watched on purpose because I missed the few, for, uh, first mm -hmm. few episodes, but I really want to visit yeah. it and, and watch it. You know, but you would like that. You think it's good? It, it is a good show, and the book has got off to a great start. I think it's a it's kind of like Sex in the City, but. It's, a lot more down to earth. It's a lot more yeah. relatable where Sex and the City had all the flashy labels yeah. and was all the kind of really expensive yeah. lifestyles where girls is a bit more down to earth and I think that really comes How across. How you really in live in New York rather exactly. than. Exactly. Yeah. So, okay. so anyway, uh, onto another funny person. Yes. John Cleese. Uh, John Cleese. Um, I, I love, I can't believe he hasn't written an autobiography until now. This is his, uh, this is his first one, it's hard to believe. Um, obviously w very well known as a member of Monty Python, yeah. comedy classics, uh, Fawlty yeah. Towers, and obviously they've had a lot of um, shows in the O2 this year, the, the Pythons were back. Oh, so this, yeah. this book kind of focuses on his early life, um, looking at him growing up and um, uh, just g getting his comedy career off and running with the Frost, Frost Report and his, uh, his friendship with Gra Graham Chapman, who was one of the other Monty Python, yeah. so uh, a must have for any kind of fans Cause, of cause, comedy. Cause if I, if I read this now. All I want to read about is Faulty Towers and Monty, Monty Python. Python. Then yeah. I'd be the, like the rest. Oh. Well, you know what? You're going to have to buy the other three books to get up to his life until then. Yeah. I'm sure there's the, yeah. the, the first of, and a, a lot of people do that, don't they? Yeah, and it's a great story. I mean, it's it's how he became him, essentially. Um, and uh, I think anybody who's a huge fan of Junkies will get a huge yeah, amount out of this. Mary Black, of course, a wonderful Irish singer, yeah. and of course we all love her and her is life. This her I suppose, first one as well. This, this is her, her yeah. first one, yeah. And obviously she's been a fixture on the Irish music scene for for many years. And um, obviously a huge hit with No Frontiers back in the eighties, and uh, no. A Woman's Heart was huge um, back then. It was absolute phenomenon. And um, there's a there's a, an anecdote in the book where apparently the head of I think it's Universal Music rang Universal Ireland mm. to say, why isn't the Bodyguard soundtrack? number one and they're like well because a woman's heart is number one it's, am it's every, amazing it's just incredible yeah. it, yeah. Is it was one of those albums yeah. that changed a lot for a lot it of people yeah, as yeah. well she's still brilliant isn't mm. she? she's a wonderful Mary Black yeah. great mix there thank you for Fantastic bringing them in yeah. really no really good mix you, that, you yeah. have a big event with Roy King coming up yes I mean it's the book that everybody's been talking about in the last week so uh, next Wednesday evening the RDS we have uh, an event with Roy Keane who'll be interviewed by Roddy Doyle who co-wrote the book and that's at 8 o'clock and you get tickets through Ticketmaster.ie oh that sounds great that should be great wow that should be good that should be a great interview yeah absolutely and you know Roy's Always very candid. Yes. Yeah, and, and very calm. <laughs> yes, very <laughs> Thank you very much for joining Thanks, us. Stephen. Thanks, William. And bringing us through that selection of autobiographies. Of course, if you want more information on all those books, all you have to do is go to easons.com. Stephen, thank you again. Good to see you. And hope to see you soon. Yes, okay. you'll be back with us soon.